Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to hell. I think I'm enjoying the ambiance because it tries to make me pretend I'm warm because I'm tired of being cold. But we're here in the basement ready for Has Been Hotel Season 1, Episode 3. I think I'm on track now. I'm on track now. Mostly. Here's the thing I was noticing when I was putting together Episode 2 reaction, which is I didn't say a whole lot. No, and there's several reasons for it, but the big one is there's so much going on visually and then you've got the music and then I'm trying to read the subtitles. So my brain's occupied and so I can't speak. Because <laughs> contrary to what people might think, you cannot listen and read and talk all at the same time. I can do two. I can do two well. And more often than not, it's just watching and listening and I'm forgetting to um, say what I'm thinking because I'm just absorbing all the information and not putting sentences together in my head. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense, but I'm enjoying myself. The sh songs are charming as hell. Oh yeah. <laughs> Characters are interesting. Angel, for some reason, I think I'm drawn most to what is Angel doing? What are they doing? I think it's the, oh yes, I'm such a big sinner, but secretly deep down, they're just a marshmallow and want to be accepted. I think that's what I'm being drawn to. But yes, okay, so we've met the V's. We've got another guest in the hotel with Sir, is it Pontius, Pontius? Pontius. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm excited to get going and I'm so glad that you are here with me, especially if you've hit subscribe. Thank you so much. And if you haven't yet, now is as good as time as any because I'm going to get under the big cozy blanket. I've got my lemonade on standby. I have all of you and full episode watch along. If you want to watch the whole thing from beginning to end, it's available on Patreon. I actually have it on the lowest tier this whole season. Um, so three bucks a month. Check it out. We'd love to see you there. Okay, y'all you ready? Let's get to it. I am so excited that Sir Pentius is staying at the hotel. Um, Pentius was just trying to take over the city with his weird steampunk bullshit a few days ago. Well, I haven't seen him try to pull any of that here. Yet. <laughs> it's my new invention, the Skin Flayer 11,000. I'm really looking forward to shooting the other residents. I can sense they are planning to kill me. Ooh, the new parts of my machine are here. Enjoy your Carmine purchase. Carmine purchase. You are buying parts from an overlord? Who else is there, there to buy parts from? No one is trying to kill you. People are being nice because they want you to feel welcome. <laughs> you have to trust us. But I don't. Why don't we focus on that for today's activities? I really want to see some sort of proof in Charlie's theory that redemption is possible. That would be nice. <laughs> no more eggs. All right, eggies. You've got to go. I can't keep you anymore. Okay, boss. No, don't resist. <laughs> <laughs> Seems as Sir Pentheus needed the eggs more than the eggs needed him. Eggs are all over the place, and I need you to get rid of them. Poof. Humanely. <laughs> I suppose I can take care of that on my outing today. Great. Oh, and thank you all in the comments for filling me in a little bit more on the world building that we can't see that was off, off book, <laughs> and other hidden parts of the internet. We think that this group could really benefit from... A song! Chest exercises! Chest exercises! Let's get started, Charlie. Actually, I thought maybe you could take the lead on this one. I trust everyone, so maybe you'd know better about how to build it properly. Well, come on, it'll be easy. I'm sure you can handle this. Yeah. All right, so we are starting with trust balls. <laughs> Each of you are gonna share something vulnerable with the group about yourself and then fall backwards while the rest of the group catches you. Got it? I, I love you guys. Like, really? Really love you. Gotcha. 
kind of mad. Vaggy wasn't there. Who would have caught her? This time, everyone has to catch him, okay? <laughs> I don't want to live without my minion. Nobody catch me. Nobody catch me? <laughs> Children as a warning to others. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> <laughs> Nifty, I think, for me is frightening. Frightening, almost as frightening as Alistair. <laughs> like Alistair Nifty. I'll figure something out. If you're in the market for some idea, I got just the thing for some terrestrial building. Oh boy, what's the plan, boss? I like your suit. What are the antlers for? The eggs are calling Alistair boss now. Mm. Oh, Alistair, how fair me this day. Greetings, Zestial. Oh, holy shit! He comes in this afternoon. Oh. If I look. <laughs> It has been an age since thou hast graced us with thy presence. So, <laughs> so now are they freaking out over Alistair or Zestial? Or the two of them together? <laughs> Stay here and guard the front until I return. Oh, look! Frank is up there. Oh. We have names? <laughs> so this is an overlord nightclub speaking of which okay so is charlie the only hellborn or are there others that are hellborn and they are hellborn how do they get to be hellborn are they charlie's brothers and or sisters siblings of some sort Overlords, I've invited you all here because you represent the controlling powers of our city. Or can demons, sinners procreate? We need to discuss what can be done to minimize the impact to our interest. Enchanted as always, Carmilla. Oh, this is Carmilla. Yes, I know. I've been absent some time. I'm sure you've all been wondering. Yes, I am wondering. Where did he go? I think it prudent. Yes, I've got it hand. Oh, the V's! <laughs> so, as I was saying, we need to discuss. Yes. <laughs> oh, tasty. Oh. If these holy rollers can be killed, the game has changed. So, who killed them and how? If we rush to war without knowing might, they purge all of hell for daring and uprising. Possible. Oh, that's possible, know. I suppose. You know? <laughs> so, Grandpa is too pussy to fight, so I guess there's no point. Too senile to make a real power grab? You oh. better show some respect. <laughs> Check your behavior. No one speaks to Zestial that way. Does Zestial need you to speak? Be good for them? You've got it twisted. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. And I will do nothing less than what I please. Woo! <laughs> this song is giving me six vibes. You know what I say? You can't last. You have our disclosure. This baby's over. Oh, she just says we're done now. That was a productive meeting. <laughs> Now that she's gone, let's continue on with the discussion. Mother? Oh, that's mom. Okay, so how is that mom? Angel! What the actual... No activity requires more trust than BDSM, baby. Oh, wait, I missed. What was happening? <laughs> that is true. That's their motto. Absolutely true. I'm ready to punish some bad boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Smack! Okay. Okay. Hello. There. Hi. Uh, uh, oh, I, <laughs> I just need to teach them the way I was taught. This is how you learn to trust people? There is nothing stronger. 
stronger than the trust between comrades in arms. I'd rather be in the dungeon. <laughs> I can't fight without my minion. Then you're not worthy at all. This is the only way they'll learn, Charlie. No, it's not. There are other ways. It just <laughs> takes time. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm supposed to protect you. I'm supposed to never fail you. And how does Baggy get this job or position, I wonder? <laughs> Made it. <laughs> I just walked up all those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about... Maybe he should know. Nobody should know. I am not discussing this. What ways I was just gonna say, we're gonna sing it instead. It was thou who the Are we getting some genie? Genie in this show? Who's now, I believe, playing King Arthur and Spam a lot? When that thing attacked, I had to cross that line and keep them safe anyone knew then all of hell would rise and who's to say who'd survive the fray i might lose the ones that is this soundtrack available anywhere I love that we met Carmilla for all of two seconds and I'm already like, yes, Carmilla, I'm with you. I get it. I'm rooting for you. So, what did you hear? <laughs> Whatever it takes, just sing the song, little egg. <laughs> and, and the shoes off. Whatever it takes. Uh, uh, what was that last thing? She killed the angel. Interesting. Let's keep this between us. <laughs> you got it, boss. That's how you keep it between us. <sighs> I'm sorry I got so crazy today. No, no, I'm sorry. Look what your exercise did for them. <laughs> did it wear them out? And then, when that buff guy started beating the shit out of you. <laughs> yes. At least you can take a beating like a champ. You did okay, little kid. Failed to get rid of the eggs, I see. Why don't you give them back to Pentius? After today, I guess I can trust you with them. But seriously, no more weapons. <laughs> ah, how was your day with Alistair, my minion? I went to this meeting, and there was a knife lady, an old guy, and the knife lady killed an angel. And I was not supposed to talk about it. Oh, I'm so sure, and maybe you'll meet Martians tomorrow. <laughs> now it's time for sleep. <laughs> Good night, Eggy. <laughs> So we did get the genie in this episode, Mr. James Monroe Eagleheart. <laughs> and the soundtrack, apparently there is a soundtrack, so I'll put a link to the soundtrack down in the description below in case you want to peruse it for yourself as well. Cause that song, I'll protect you the song. I love that song. I love that song so much. <laughs> and in the last episode we had the Sorry, It Starts With Sorry, sounded a little too much like Cheer Up Charlie from Charlie and the Fac Charlie Factory. It starts with sorry. Cheer up, Charlie. That I would get both of them mushed in my head. But this one, this one, oh, so good. It was so good. I think that one might be my favorite song so far of the season. So what is Alistair's play? I am wondering. He wants to take over hell? So he's gonna use Charlie as a way to overthrow Lucifer. Is Lucifer really the overseer? Is he the top dog of hell or is just his name alone enough to get it done and he's just sitting in a cabin by the beach going, oh, I'm so sad, oh, I'm so sad. The fact that 
He said Charlie was a he said Charlie was a failure. Hmm. And where has Lilith gone? That's again, I keep asking this question and until I get an answer, I guess I'll keep asking it. Yes, things like that stick in my head until I get answers. <laughs> it needs to make sense to me. It doesn't need to make sense. It just needs to make sense to me. As I always say, it doesn't have to be right. It just can't be wrong. <laughs> and I do hope that we see some sort of redemption of somebody. Although Carmilla protecting the kids and the love she obviously has for her kids isn't enough. I don't know what would be. Another thing I find interesting about this show is from the start, especially episode one, because that's the one I started with, the vibe I was getting was very reminiscent of when I was a kid and when Ren and Stimpy first came out, even though these aren't remotely like it, but the vibe, the vibe of what is this? What is this animation? What is this storyline? Is this appropriate? That same vibe. And then again, when South Park came out, same thing. People are going, what is this? We've not seen this in an animation before. What is going on? I get that same vibe and it makes me excited. <laughs> People being creative make me excited and there's creative across this, across the board. So I'm excited to see the next episode and I do want you with me there for that adventure as always because we have so much fun when we do this together. So please take care of yourself as always. Reminder, um, drink. If you haven't had some water, drink some water. If you haven't eaten, have some toast. As I always say, toast is magical. Sweet and savory, do it up like you like. Stay fed, stay hydrated, stretch, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time. <laughs>